Have you ever wondered how the health of our planet impacts our well-being? Take a moment to ponder this question. It's not merely about the air we breathe, the water we drink, or the food we consume. It's more profound than that. It's about the intricate web of life that connects us all. From the smallest microorganism to the towering trees, the bustling cities to the tranquil countryside, this interconnected network is known as our ecosystem, and understanding its importance is a matter of our health and well-being. Every aspect of our ecosystem plays a vital role in maintaining a balance, a harmony that directly influences our physical and mental health. For instance, a lush forest not only serves as a home for a myriad of wildlife, but also acts as our planet's lungs, purifying the air we breathe. An unpolluted river doesn't just provide us with fresh water, it's also a life source for countless species. But it's not just about the physical benefits. Spending time in nature, away from the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, can do wonders for our mental health. It can reduce stress, boost mood, and enhance our overall sense of well-being. This is why the theme of the National Children's Science Congress 2023 is Understanding Ecosystem for Health and Well-Being. It's a call to action for the young minds of our generation to delve deeper, to understand the intricate workings of our ecosystem, to realize how every action we take, every decision we make, can have a ripple effect on our environment and, in turn, on our health and well-being. The Congress aims to inspire curiosity, foster innovation, and instill a sense of responsibility among our future leaders. It's not just about learning, it's about taking that knowledge and applying it to create a better, healthier world for us and future generations to come. Indeed, understanding our ecosystem is not just about preserving our environment, it's about preserving our health and well-being. So let's embark on this journey together towards a deeper understanding of our world, towards a healthier and we have the Urban Habitats Project, which aims to educate students about the ecosystems that thrive in our concrete jungles. This project sheds light on how wildlife adapts to urban environments and how we can coexist sustainably. Projects like Water Watch focus on understanding the importance of freshwater ecosystems, highlighting the impacts of pollution on these fragile habitats. Students get hands-on experience in testing water quality and learn about the diverse life forms that depend on these water bodies. These projects are not merely educational, they serve a greater purpose. They raise awareness about environmental issues, instilling in students a sense of responsibility towards their surroundings. They teach the importance of each organism, no matter how small, in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. Through these projects, students learn that ecosystems are not just about trees and animals. They're about relationships between living organisms, between organisms and their environment, and between humans and nature. They understand that every action we take impacts our ecosystem and, in turn, our health and well-being. A healthy ecosystem provides clean air, fresh water, fertile soil, and a stable climate. Or a few innovative projects that are leveraging technology to achieve these goals. Firstly, consider satellite imagery and remote sensing technologies. These are being used by scientists to monitor changes in land and water bodies over time. By doing so, they can identify patterns, predict future changes, and take appropriate actions to protect our ecosystems. For instance, let's look at the Amazon Rainforest Monitoring Project. Using satellite imagery, researchers can track deforestation and illegal logging activities. This data is crucial in developing strategies to prevent further loss of this vital ecosystem and the countless species it hosts. Secondly, think about the role of AI, or artificial intelligence. AI can analyze vast amounts of data quickly and accurately, helping us to understand the complex interconnections within ecosystems. An excellent example is the Ocean Data Alliance project, which uses AI to analyze marine data and predict threats to ocean health. But how does this tie in with our health and well-being? Well, a healthy ecosystem means a healthy us. For example, forests act as our planet's lungs, absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. Protecting them through technology helps ensure we have clean air to breathe. Furthermore, technologies like portable water quality sensors are revolutionizing how we monitor and improve the quality of our water directly impacting our health. These devices can test for harmful contaminants and send real-time data to scientists, allowing for swift action to protect our water resources. 
In the field of agriculture, technology is being harnessed to promote sustainable farming methods. Drones and precision farming technologies can optimize the use of resources, reduce environmental impact, and ensure a continuous supply of healthy food. To sum it up, technology is not just about the latest gadgets and gizmos, it's about harnessing its power to protect the very ecosystems that sustain us. It's about ensuring a healthier, more sustainable future for all. Technology, when used properly, can be a powerful tool in preserving our ecosystems and promoting health and well-being. So, why is the National Children's Science Congress 2023 important? You may think it's just another science fair, but it's so much more than that. The Congress is a beacon of hope, a platform that encourages children to engage in scientific exploration ecosystems and promoting health and well-being. So, why is the National Children's Science Congress 2023 important? You may think it's just another science fair, but it's so much more than that. The Congress is a beacon of hope, a platform that encourages children to engage in scientific exploration and discovery. It's a place where young minds are nurtured and their curiosity is stoked fostering a deep understanding and appreciation for science and its role in our everyday lives. But the Congress isn't just about promoting scientific literacy, it's about creating a culture of environmental awareness. By focusing on the theme of understanding our ecosystem for health and well-being, the Congress is helping to shape a new generation of environmentally conscious citizens. It's about instilling in our children the future caretakers of our planet, the knowledge and values they need to protect and preserve our environment. The potential impact of the Congress is immense. Imagine, if you will, a world where every child understands the complex interplay between our health and the health of our ecosystem. A world where every child appreciates the importance of biodiversity, the value of clean air and water, and the role of technological innovation in sustaining our environment. That's the world the Congress is helping to create. The Congress also provides a unique opportunity for children to showcase their innovative ideas and projects. It's a platform where they can share their insights, receive feedback from experts in the field, and connect with like-minded peers. It's a space where they can be recognized and celebrated for their contributions to science and the environment. And let's not forget, the Congress is also about inspiring action. It's about empowering our children to take what they've learned and apply it to their own communities. It's about motivating them to make a real, tangible difference in the world. The National Children's Science Congress 2023 is not just an event, it's a movement towards a healthier and more sustainable future. So what have we learned today? We've explored the intricate tapestry of our ecosystem, understanding how every organism, big or small, plays a significant role in maintaining the balance of nature. We've recognized that our ecosystem is not just about the birds in the sky or the fish in the sea, it's about us too. Our health, our well-being, our very existence is interwoven with the health of our well-being, our very existence is interwoven with the health of our ecosystem. We've delved into the importance of knowing our ecosystem, like a detective piecing together clues. We've seen how understanding the dynamic interplay of nature helps us protect it and in turn, ourselves. We've discussed the importance of local ecosystems, from bustling coral reefs to quiet forests, and their unique contributions to our health and well-being. We've also dived into the world of technological innovation, exploring how it's not just about the latest gadgets and gizmos, but about using our collective intelligence to create solutions that nurture our ecosystem and improve our health. We've seen how technology has the potential to heal our planet, from innovative waste management systems to renewable energy sources, all playing their part in creating a healthier, greener world. Furthermore, we've highlighted the importance of the National Children's Science Congress, an event that encourages young minds to think critically, question, explore, and contribute to the world of science. We've seen how the Congress is not just about learning, but about empowering the next generation to be the stewards of our planet. So, as we wrap up today, let's remember these key points. Our ecosystem is vital for our health and well-being. Technology, when used wisely, can be a powerful tool in protecting and healing our planet. And events like the National Children's Science Congress are crucial in fostering curiosity, knowledge, and responsibility in our young scientists. Remember, our health and well-being are directly linked to the health of our ecosystem. Let's strive to understand and protect it for a better future.